Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I want to show you how we can upload multiple images using Django. So yesterday I put out this video tutorial on this project here where we just have this image gallery and I started getting questions about adding multiple photos at a time here. So if we go to add a photo, we just write in our description, select a category and we can only add in one photo. So we just want to add in a multiple upload option here and that's what we'll take care of in this video. So this feature is very useful for things like image slideshows, maybe we have an image gallery, or even an e-commerce website where we want to upload multiple products. So let's say we want multiple angles of this product right here, and we want to just be able to upload multiple without having to continuously add that one by one. So shameless plug, this is my React Udemy e-commerce course, so you can check this out. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So you can download the source code for this project in the video description. If you don't want to follow the project, it should still be pretty easy to follow. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to go to this add photo page right here and we just want to change this field right here. So we'll change the name and we're going to allow multiple file uploads. So in my Django project, we're going into our app, which is called photos and we'll go into templates and that's just add.html. So in here, all I have to do here is I need to go to my input field here. So right now it's just a form field. So the file type or the type is file. All I have to do here is just add in multiple. So if I add that and I also want to change the name. Now this is not required, but it makes more sense to say images here. If I save and refresh this, now we have choose files here. So we can select multiple images here, go ahead and add that. And now we have four files. So that changes the form field, but we also need to go ahead and update the backend for this. So let me just refresh this really quick and we'll go into our view that takes in this list right here. So right now, uh, or before we just had a single file and that got sent to the backend and we passed that in, let's see. So we passed that in just using image here. So we can see image, we go to request.files, get, we get the image. So that's images now. Then we would take in that image and let's see. So we got that right here and we just add it to a photo here. So in our models here, models.py, we see that image field right here and we would just take that image and add it in there. So what I need to do here is now we're sending in a list here. So we're going to image is set to request.file.get images. And I just need to change this to get list. So now it's a list because we're sending multiple images. So I'm just going to save that really quick and we'll just keep closing that out there. And all I need to do here is because we have multiple photos, I'm just going to go ahead and create a loop here. So we'll just do four image and images. So four image and images and let's go ahead and change the variable name to images too. So we're just looping through that and we are going to, we're going to go ahead and fix this indentation here. So now we're just iterating through this list. We're sending back multiple images. We're looping through it and we're just adding an image on each iteration. So if I save this, I'm going to go ahead and open up my terminal here. So it looks like I have an issue and we need to add in the colon there. So that should take care of it. And now let's go ahead and add in this, add in these images. So let's go back here. If we go in this section, we see we have nine pictures and there's a few pictures that I still want to upload. So I want to upload some more pictures to the category of Dennis and Sulamita. So I just want to add some here. So let's go in here. We'll go into add a photo and we'll just say, um, me and my wife. And this, descri this description uh, is going to go for all the images. So we can change this. So me with my wife here. And then the category is going to be Salmita and Dennis. So in theory, we can update this form to handle uh, multiple descriptions, uh, but we don't want to do that right now. And I also don't want to use inline form sets, which is another option. So let's go ahead and select our images. We'll go to not used and we'll just take in these three. So if I go ahead and add these, if we go back here, we can see those three images. So if I go to Salmita and Dennis, there we go. So if you follow the original project, the source code is now updated. That's all we had to do. That's all we had to do to take care of this. Uh, there's different ways of doing that. Again, you could use inline form sets, but that's a quick fix. So I hope you guys enjoyed this.